Alright, today guys we're going to be talking about the tick and kind of some of the uses that we will, you will be using the tick for in your Beyond All Reason games. <clears throat> they are known for their high speed and tiny cute little bodies as you can see. They're very adorable looking. Um, most of the time when you've been playing Beyond All Reason you've probably seen them either as like a her early game harassment or kind of a spam is what they are also known for in the later game of Beyond No Reason where uh, T3 starts coming out or sometimes even when T2 comes out you'll have ticks as a um, more of a vision than anything else which is uh, both proper uses for a tick. Um, we just want to look at kind of their DPS and just take a little bit of a breakdown on it. It is one of the lowest uh, damage units in the game. I think only second in, uh, second to a construction bot sucking metal away. Uh, it only has 40 DPS, which is pretty insanely low. Um, the range, though, on it is also quite low, but the good thing about the tick and one of the reasons why it is used as a spam unit more frequently is because of the um, LOS, which is the uh, um, the range of vision. So as you can see, if we move one tick further, over, er, further away, the range is quite large on this guy. He's... Uh, got an incredible view so that's one of the reasons why people love to spam them late game is that way they can get a good solid vision on any enemies that might be uh might have a radar jamming or um even to block some shots from a more um powerful hit so like if you launch a sniper bullet at a tick then that's a waste of a sniper's reload because it only costs like uh, 17 metal. And so it's very incredibly powerful for blocking heavy shots like that. Um, early game, they are best used as a harassment where you will maybe build like two or three. Sometimes, you know, people will build a little bit more than that. The only, the only danger with doing that is you risk you risk losing a lot of micro for all five of them and you don't really have a huge potential when you build like five ten ticks because they're very easy to defend against one commander all he has to do is uh use his, get within the range of the tick and he's the ticks basically instantly ev evaporated so it's not it's not that effective to have much more than two or three of them attacking one player at a time now the risk is with microing ticks early game is it's very high apm intensive so eight by apm we mean actions per minute because you, you're you're trying to uh get through behind their base with the tick and um get around behind their their early game resources and attack them so the problem is it takes microing to do. You have to actually micro your guy in order to, to do that. So, and when, keep in mind, when you are microing, that means that you will not be able to be increasing your production at home um, or like getting your other main units out. And so it can take a lot of actions away from your potential for growth. So that is one of the, one of the main risks of using a tick early game. Um, their speed is very phenomenal. It's one of the faster units in the game. I think it might actually be the fastest unit in the game. As you can see, it has a speed of 130. Um, so it's very, very fast. Faster than a pawn faster than anything else that I can think of at the moment. Except for aircraft, of course. Aircraft are definitely the fastest units. Um, and then also you can see here the amount of energy it costs per shot. So every uh, unit takes energy to fire if it is a laser weapon. So the laser, every laser weapon has an energy drain from your resource pile up top here. 
So for the tick, that's only two per shot. <clears throat> but it's just something to keep in mind. If you're going for all laser units, then your total um, energy consumption will be higher than if you use other units. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, late game, they are definitely very good for vision and uh, decent for like getting in the back line if for some reason a player didn't build any uh, laser defense towers or um, maybe just is only building large units um, with kind of a heavier payload you can sneak your your army of ticks into their back line and even take out something as big as a fusion reactor or an advanced fusion reactor um so they they can be very effective if you can find a hole in the front line to get them through um where i would say ticks are probably the most suited is in places with like caverns and stuff because you have the the great amount of vision right and then you also have the uh, the option to run a, i mean you're one of the fastest units in the game you have a great amount of vision and you can micro yourself out of dangerous situations and come around these caverns to kind of protect yourself from um fire and such so um that's one, just one thing to keep in mind with your ticks is use your terrain to your advantage because um that's really where they will shine is by using um the terrain another important thing to remember with ticks um and we're going to use the commander as an example here we're just going to kind of show you a proper way of using them early game. Wait for our little buddies to come back over. So the commander is usually, well, not all the time, but he'll often be here and he'll be building bots or, or you know, doing windmills and such. One of the benefits of ticks is that they cannot be shot at from over a windmill so if there are windmills or even solar panels it is very very hard to get a tick so as a commander is here working on his stuff or you know maybe they built one laser tower here um they will not be able to hit any of these guys because they are behind the windmills so if uh if someone ends up building a stack of windmills such as here and here and they just end up building a box around themselves it can be a great opportunity for ticks to come in and do massive amounts of damage to the early economy because for instance if we try to shoot at this tick this this laser turret cannot target that tick and the reason being is this uh windmill bla basically blocks this whole entire square that is how large the windmill is. Yeah, I know you see that the windmill is a tiny skinny pole and you're thinking, oh, I could shoot through that. But that's not actually the case. You cannot uh, throw your laser through it because according to the game, it's that whole entire square. I think you can shoot over... Um, no, I guess you can't. So, so there's a certain height that you can... There's a certain height for the wind... For the... Um, metal extractors that you can't shoot over because the the square is just as high as their uh in-game uh box that they have there now with the windmills the the height is much taller so you can't quite reach over the top but you can get pretty you know you can get pretty low with uh with a metal extractor so that's another thing to keep in mind is when you are using your ticks if you stay i mean what was the distance it was about yeah it was about there it is as far away as you can be from the metal extractor without ever getting targeted by a light laser turret so you can and see the tick can hit here he wouldn't take hardly any damage from an explosion and the laser turret would not be able to target him. And it's the same thing with uh, the commander. The commander is even uh, less able to attack because he's a shorter unit. So he's um, he's going to be even less capable of defending against us. So the best way to use your ticks is definitely to micro early. 
and micro uh, heavily and try to destroy the early economy and a good thumb is well let's see how much metal if you if you have three ticks you got 51 metal used and a thousand energy let's see how much three wind turbines co cost 111 metal but only 50 50 energy now keep in mind that they are producing energy as well so that is a loss in potential so if you took out just three wind turbines you would get your complete value with ticks you would get more than your value with your ticks the only thing you have to remember is you do have opportunity loss in the amount of actions per minute you have to devote in using them so that is something to keep in mind and you know if you are very familiar with rts and very familiar with um the quick movements back and forth between your base and just uh you know you're very snappy with everything then going for early ticks is probably a great idea for you because you can use your apm to the highest potential possible whereas a newer player going for that early aggression with ticks is probably not the best idea because the stall that you will get from the lack of actions on developing your base will not be worth it in the long run so just keep that in mind anyway i uh, appreciate you guys watching this video on just the tick and i'm going to be putting out a lot more uh, videos like this just going over specifics for certain units and maybe even building types if you guys have any tips on things or um any ideas on what you would like to see next, go ahead and let me know in the comments and we will see you in the next video.